Apparently I reached apparently I reached maximum recording size. It just stopped. So I was trying to explain how easy making whipped cream is, and she was just like, uh no. So I honestly I poured the cream in a bowl and I put the mixer in and I turned it on and I stood there and she was like, now what? I was like, yeah, we wait. It's literally this is it. She was like, uh sugar? I was like, I mean, if you wanna. Totally up to you. You can put in sugar, you can not put in sugar. And then we just stood there and it obviously turned into a cream and she was like, oh, amazing. <laughs> like, I can't begin to tell you how low effort this is compared to other cooking things. Um, but then she tried on the next batch and it she was very impressed. She was like, oh, my first time. Um, she also didn't know you need to keep the mixer in there. So we both got splattered a bunch. And then she took pictures while I decorated the cupcakes so that we can, we put up pictures, like a social story kind of thing about it to talk the kids through the steps and teach ingredients and all these things in English. The Christmas tree was fine, and Rudolph was the ugliest Rudolph I have ever encountered. Oh my goodness, this was the ugliest guy. I can't believe, I don't understand. I'm so good at baking. Like, honestly, if it, cookies, cakes, muffins, meringues, if it just needs to taste good, I can do it. It can be delicious. If it needs to look beautiful, I am obviously the last person you should call. And I don't understand why this would be so. It's not like I'm not a creative or artistic person. I I knit beautiful garments. If you look on Facebook, by the way, the my the sweater I made, um, I was really proud of it. And I don't remember if I made, posted a photo. Um, but I made a sweater for J Teacher's baby. J Teacher was my co-teacher last year and Sumi teacher, my current co-teacher, and I went to go visit her, and we brought... She had a baby just right before Chusak, so, like, September-ish. And I took her a few weeks ago, the sweater I made, and a hat that matches Jay's hat from last year. And uh, Jay posted a photo of her wearing it. I was so worried that she was going to get too big for it, but... And she was quite fat when I saw her. <laughs> that little baby. Um, but, yeah, she fits the sweater, and it's adorable, and I'm pretty excited. Um, but yeah, like, obviously I can knit beautiful things. I can, I don't know, create things for students that are lovely, but ask me to decorate a cookie or a cake and it's a hot mess. It's disturbingly terrible. It's so bad. So bad. Um, yeah, maybe I'll try and avoid making things beautiful from now on of the baked good variety. I'll just make them taste beautiful. Um... Oh, so the tree thing. Okay, do you know what lucky stars are? It's like you take a strip of paper and you tie a knot in it and flatten the knot and wrap it around, wrap the paper around following the folds, and then you sort of pinch it into a star. If you tweet at me, I'll send you a more information, better information. But they sell strips of paper here at Daiso. My favorite store. I love Daiso. They sell strips of paper here that you turn into those stars, and I made like 300 of them for the children to put in Christmas crackers that they're going to make for the rest of the school. And I, one of the pictures they showed on the thing was that you can like run with a needle and thread through all the stars and make a garland of stars, which could be cute for your tree. It could be adorable, depending on what colors you use. Um, these colors are quite bright, sort of fluorescent, but, um, oh, and then 